Hello everybody, my subscribe and welcome back to Let's Play Feed the Beast Unleashed, where we last left off. We are um we made the squeezer so we can get some liquid force. Um yeah, it's full now, so I turned this off. We have the pulverizer and the powered furnace, which is thermal expansion machines, and we made the clockwork engine, which is just spam right click, get really cheap energy. Wait till it gets red. And boom, I think it's like 4, four MJ per tick, like I said. I think it's what it is, and this will just fill up, and we don't need to worry about that. So this episode, we're going to make some more thermal expansion stuff. So we want to make a magma crucible. And to make that, we need... Oh, we need nether brick. To do that, we need nether brick. And to do that, we need nether rack. And to get... Is there another way to get that? <sighs> no. Alright, so let's try do something else then. Let's make the liquid... The liquid transposer. Liquid man, no. Liquid trans poser. Another thermal, uh, thermal expansion. So we'll need the redstone reception coal, glass, a bucket, machine frame. Really? Do I have any machine frames on me? I don't. I think I can make one, though. I think I have the resources to make one. Nope. Yep, I do. Okay. So I need more glass, but I, I that's easy to make. All I have to do is take my auto smelting pickaxe. Where are you? My bag. And, oh, this is about to break. Maybe I should fix this. I don't know if I can fix this, though. Can I fix it? I can't. Mm. That's an issue. I'll just let it break. Whatever. It's not It's not too expensive to replace. And it just broke. But we got enough glass. That's, that's fine. Um, do I have an empty bucket? Let's just fill this with liquid force so we can get the empty bucket. Good. Right, and we need to make the rest of red some reception coil, so we need to get some redstone. Do I have any gold on me? I do. Redstone, redstone, redstone. I need to go I need to start smelting up my resources. It's probably a good idea. Cause I need uh, to get like some ingots of things. Ooh, another thing. I found out we can make uh, tin capsules. Tin the thing I was showing you last time. So if you go to the crafting table, and I think it's just three tin. Yeah, and you get 12 tin cap or tin cans, rather, sorry. So it's a little bit different than the capsules. And I think you can put them in here. Yeah, and you fill them up. So now, hopefully, these tin cans don't get used when I put them in another force engine. And I get the, 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 the cans back, because it's um, really expensive to make these if I have to use tin all the time. Right, so we we're making the liquid transposer. Um, redstone reception coil. I think I have everything on me to make this. What am I missing? The copper. I have some copper, don't I? Nothing there. Ooh, did I use all my copper? I might have. I have one copper in there. I need two, though. Wait, in here? Yeah, one copper in there. Yeah, I need to make some. Uh, so I'm just going to take this copper and put it in here. That should, that should do well. Uh, I think I have partial amounts of alumite in there. I do, unfortunately. But now it's all out. But now I can't do anything with this. It's not going to harden because there's not enough alumite left. So I'm just going to leave that and I'll use the crafting basin. Uh, so what can I do in the meantime? I don't really want to go to the nether because it's, it's I'm not prepared to handle this. I probably am. Uh, what I mean by that is, I don't know about the lag. I've tested some things out, but I'm trying to set my settings so that it, it it's like there's very little lag. But we might just have to go to the nether to do this, and I think we will. In fact, we will probably have to. So let's just get some... Oh, yeah, 54. Nice. 54 is divisible by 9, too. That's perfect. So now we can... So now we can... um. Make six blocks, basically. Oh, and where did I put my food? Okay, I need to clear my inventory a little bit. So let me just throw some milk buckets in here. Grab the cobble. No, I didn't throw you in there. Throw you in there. Grab the dirt. Throw you in there. Um, I don't need the tin on me right now. Neither does the iron or the glass or the redstone or the sugar cane. Um, or these force cans, or this force engine, 
piston I might need. I don't need a piston. The single torch? Nope. The glass? Yep. Okay. Okay, you can go in there, and there, and where did I put my food? Now I have a bunch of bread. Yeah, there you are. Good. How's my armor looking? Okay. Oh yeah, I should take that out. So now I have copper. So now I can make this. Ta-da! Liquid transposer. And what this? Oh, four stride. What broke? Oh right, my um, my my thing, my thing, my uh, pickaxe. The heat one. Let's make another one of those soon. Um. Right. So what I can do is now um I have this stuff. You can continue working, I guess. I grab some more logs for that. Actually, there's not. It's fine. Whatever. Let's just check this out. One more. One more time. Um. Yep. Yeah, good. Good. Nice. Okay. So I think we're gonna have to go to the Nether. I think there's no way getting around this. By the way, obsidian is now so easy to come across. Where's my obsidian? Did I use all my obsidian? Where'd it go? Whoa, 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 whoa. I know I didn't use all my obsidian. Where did it go? Did I? Where? Did I use all my obsidian? I might have. Oh, no. Well, that's fine, because guess what? Obsidian is so easy to come by now. All you do is grab your minium stone. And you grab you know, some logs. Eight, that's good. You come over to the crafting table. You put the minium stone in there. You put two logs. And boom! Obsidian. Easy like that. I'm going to need a lot more than that. Because I need to make ten, at least. So I'll need... Six more? No, six more, so it's twelve more. Twelve, okay, good. Wait, can I just can I just do it here? Wait, was that a creeper? No. That my armor is standing there really creeps uh, scares me sometimes. I'm like, oh my god, that's a creeper or a zombie or something. I get really scared. It's kinda funny actually. Obsidian ten, perfect. Now we need a flint and steel. Not hard to make. I should probably automate this actually. There's a way I can I can automate this that it automatically does that but hey whatever um iron iron flint flint put my medium stone back in there put my force wrench in there i'm gonna put put this in there uh, i should just keep it with me uh, i'm gonna put just put this liquid transposer down I don't think you need to like use a wrench for these things. I'm gonna throw it down there. Uh, yeah, whatever. I don't think you need a wrench. Oh, this is dark here. You don't need a wrench to pick these things up. You can just break them. Not with your fist, hopefully. Um, right. So okay. So where do we want to put this? Okay. What level are we at? What uh, elevation? We're at sixty-four. It's kind of high. Uh, that's, that'll be fine, though. That'll be fine. So let's make a flint and steel. Other way around. Good. Get my food out. Don't make the levers around. I have a chest over here. Yep. Put the levers in there. Put the stuff in there. Keep the torches on me. I have my awesome sword. Except flame won't really do anything because flame doesn't hurt anything in the nether. So let's let's just put it... Um. Yeah, let's put it down here kind of away from us. I'm not going to explore or show you anything about the nether. I'm just going to get the, the nether I can get out. And I expect a major amount of lag, so bear with me. It won't last long because I'm not going to be there too long, like I said. Right, okay, so let's do this. Let's just embed it into the ground a little bit more. It's fine. Right, so one, two, three. That's high enough, right? It's high enough, right? I always forget. Um, do I have anything on me? Stone, sure. That better be high enough, because I'm not breaking that. And voila! So now we can go to the nether. 
and we're kind of not prepared, but we can fly. I probably should take the other armor. I don't really have much protection on this armor. It just does a little bit, like I said, a little bit better protection than iron, like full iron. But I don't have like 30 or... 30, I think, would be on breaking. And then protection, I don't know what that is. At. By the way, did I tell you that you can... Uh, in you can enchant um, your force armor? Oh yeah, my latest death, by the way. I died. I love how... Um, okay, so there's a little bit of lag, probably because of all that... All that fire over there. What is that stuff? This is blood wood. Okay. What's this? Blood leaves. Interesting. Well, I'm not interested in that. So, uh, well, I, I sort of am. I said interesting. But hey, I'm just going to grab some uh, netherrack. Okay, let's just do area. Let's just do area mode. And dig back here or something. Ooh, quartz. I need to remember that. I need. I actually need. I'll need this quartz actually, for um, for my applied energistic stuff. So let's get some of this. A bit, a bunch doesn't really matter. The lag isn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. Ooh, oh more. I don't want to mine any of these nether. The nether ores do exist, by the way, because I didn't really show you the nether ores in uh, Tekkit because it was too much lag. Um, that's what it looks like, basically. It's just n nether rack with the with, uh, color on it. Oh, actually, this is not lapis. This is cobalt. And you can actually mine that, like I said. Oh, actually, I can mine this because I have, I have um, uh, an alumite axe. If you had anything else, you could mine it. Like this this iron level one, you can't actually mine this. It, it doesn't. You won't get it. Right. Um, so that's a good thing to mention. I think this hasn't breaking on it. That's why it's not uh, going down nearly as much in durability. Oh, wh what did I just get? Oh, I got cobalt. That's amazing. That's actually really uh, interesting. If I use uh, the... Um, what's it called? The area mode. It thinks that it's just normal netherrack, I guess? Well, actually, let's check. Can I mine this with with my with my force pickaxe? Doesn't look like it. Oh, I can. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, well then, alumite's really useless. I have enough. I have enough nether netherrack. I could. I have a bunch. Um, so let's go back. I love how it shows you your waypoints in terms of the nether travel. Like my village normally would be probably a couple hundred meters. Oh, that's a creeper. You don't want to get near those. They basically have a a half second fuse. Literally half a second, and then they blow up. And then... And then they do a huge explosion. Which is which is not friendly. So, we get a, bit, a little bit more quartz. So, this is sort of like nether traveling. Uh, I'm, I, I actually kind of want to find... Kind of want to find a... Uh, what's it called? A nether fortress so I can get some blaze spawners. Oops. So I can get some blaze rods, and that'll be good because I I have a force wrench, meaning I can pick up the spawner and move it to the overworld. That would be easier for me to handle. Can grab some more nether quartz, and then we can go back. Oh God! Yeah, that would that thing that you just saw was a nether bat. What is this? An ardite ore. Can I get that? Doesn't look like it. Oh, Ardite is the other thing that's kind of like Cobalt. I can get it. Um, I'm going to turn off area mode on this thing, just in case I mine it for something and I get a huge... Anyway, um... What was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. Yeah, this is this isn't meant to turn out to a, a huge nether... Ooh, power ore, too. I'm not going to get that. Whatever. I don't want Peggy Man being mad at me. Yeah, oh, that bat. Yeah, the bat. It was a bat. You heard the squeaking. It hits you, and it's a fire bat. You catch on fire, and then um, it blows up, basically. Luckily, I have my force armor, so I don't take too much damage. Uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for today, for now at least. I have some nether quartz, which is really all I need. We can get back. I have tons of nether, um, nether rack. That's the thing. Alright, come on. Take me back. Take us back, oh, take us back, oh, take... I'm sorry, I'm bad singing. That song is a good one. It's a folk song. 
Uh, yes. So, um, I, I, I did die. I forgot to mention that. It was really bad. And I lost all my force armor. Because what I, what happened was, um, it was like I was getting mauled by everything, literally. And, uh, a zombie, basically, I think a zombie picked up my, my armor when I died. So I couldn't kill it. I just left it alone. I don't know what happened to it. This is full again. Um, right. Is this going to auto-repair now? It should. Yeah, it will. I'll, I'll have faith in it. Okay, so nether rack. Uh, cobalt can just go into any chest. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Nether rack. I'll just take a, take one of these for it. Now let's just grab a stack. And let's smelt it. How much do I need? I need, like, eight. There we go. Um... Right, so now I can make the magma crucible. Magma crucible, so I'll need that. I'll need one of these and that. Okay, good. So we need another bucket. Let's just make one. Put my iron in here. One, two, three. I also need to get more of this, some more of this, some more of this. Um, What else was it? That's it, okay. And copper, okay. Do I have copper in here? Where'd I put my copper? Okay, it's here. Right. Um, so let's make the, let's make the, I don't have glass on me. Come to my glass. Am I using my glass and not knowing this, guys? Because I seem to be misplacing glass a lot. Oh, let's just grab this and go to a crafting table. Do I have copper on me? Nope. Not copper, I mean coal. I just need one. Oops, I only needed one. No, I need two. <laughs> and go to my bag and get my minium. No, nope, I didn't mean to do that. God, what's going on with all these mis misclicks? Now, where's my clipboard? Let's just do it here. Right, so now we can... Minium stone. Charcoal. Boom. Ta-da! Magic! It's raining! Hurrah! I, don't, I actually don't like the rain. If you guys didn't know, no one likes the rain when you, when you play Minecraft. that. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make that. And then we can run in here, grab this. Make that. And now we can actually make it, I think. Yeah, we can. Ha ha. Ha ha. Perfect. Perfect, I say. Perfect. Uh, let's put some stuff back in my force pack. No, nope, force pack. Put you back in there. Oh, hello. Oh no, they're mad at me. They're gonna make that weird airplane noise now. Okay, so now what we can do is I want power to be going into the liquid transposer. Hold on, let's clear this out a little bit. Let's give us some more work room. Yeah, yeah, it's dark. Get over yourself. Um... Okay, good. So now I have this area to work with. Um, so we have our pulverizer. Uh, so let's see what we need to make um, liquid ducts. Actually, let's, let's make the the redstone. The redstone energy conduits there. So you take um, energy conduits empty and you put them in the liquid transposer with the stabilized redstone, which is basically redstone put in the magma crucible. And then you get en redstone energy conduits. To make that, uh, that you need electrum and hardened glass. To electrum, you need... Silver and gold in 
induction smelter, and I believe hardened glass also requires induction smelter. So we have to make one of those. Hardened glass is, yeah, pulverized obsidian and lead. That's why I got the pulverizer to begin with, by the way. Anyway, so let's make the um, induction smelter. Not to be confused with the induction furnace. So we need that again, that invar. Ooh, invar is the hard one. So to get invar, you need to... Ferris? You need ferris and iron. You, because we don't have an induction smelter, we need to do the dusts together. So we need two iron dust and ferris dust. Luckily for us, um, I think I have ferris ore. What do you want, bud? Just die. I think I have ferris ore in here. I do. So we can put like a couple of those in the pulverizer. Good. Okay, so um, let's clog this up with something that can't burn, so it doesn't send it over there. So let's do the ferris. Let's see how much power this is outputting. Yeah, 4 MJ per tick is his max. And there's a chance that actually when we, when we pulverize this, we might get more ferris down here, actually. Let's just see. Uh, yeah, okay, so we have... So we did get Ferris, or did I just forget to take that out? Oh, no, we got Ferris from pulverizing this. Interesting. I don't know where this stuff is coming from. It's just appearing somehow. It's losing power, by the way. I'm actually going to go ahead and make some more obsidian. Because I'm going to need to pulverize it anyway. There's a minium stone... I didn't even get two stacks, whatever. Just, mm, plop you there. Actually, just grab it all. Why not? Put you back. Put you back and grab the wrench. Alright, is this done? This should be done. Wait, what's with the lag? That's probably the rain, actually. Yeah, so now what we can do is we can just shapeless craft it like that. We get three invar, now we can smelt the invar. But we don't have any power there, so we'll just... Oh, I know what we can do. Minium stone, make everything easier. Um, grab a stack of that. Come over here. Ta-da! Oh, we get so many ingots from that. No, you can't do that? Okay, so... This needs to go into a furnace. Oh god, the rain is just so bad. I hate the rain. Why? Okay, rain rain particles are back on. What are you doing? Um, let's just turn those to minimal right now so that we don't have to hear the rain. Excellent. So, oops. So now we have the magma crucible. Well, the liquid transposer should be after the magma crucible. So this is blue. Let's check this out. So blue is here, yeah. So it'll go directly into this and output is orange. Perfect. It's exactly what we want. Um and then we have the invar, right. Induction smelter, invar, machine frame. Okay, so let's go get Gold, glass, and I think I put it all in here. Iron, gold, glass, redstone. So let's make this. Let's make this. Oops. And I think we need copper as well. Copper's in here, right? Uh, no, but I have some anyway. Now we can make this. I don't need a bucket. Now we can make this. Ta-da! Induction smelter. And this can go right over... Right over here, I guess. Um, let's turn off this side. 
so nothing happens. Um, and let's turn off this side as well. Perfect. Just turn the redstone off. Turn it off. I don't, I don't want any of these being influenced by redstone, so just turn those all off. And yeah, so now we have all our machines. And I guess I'll end off the episode there, because we did go to the nether and stuff. So, um... Next episode, we'll actually get these things working and going and doing our stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed. If you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.